And, and just to give you a taste of when we start to see these minor, relatively speaking, and certainly sensible proposals that are going to come out of the Senate, maybe the House, maybe the White House, in terms of increasing reporting across government agencies um, into the database, which allows you to get a permit for a gun. Like I had mentioned, if uh, one of the proposals that the Obama administration had a year ago in the wake of the Gabby Gifford shooting was that if your household is getting a Social Security disability check for some type of mental disability of your children, that's going to go into a record and a database when you buy a gun and you attempt to get a permit. One of the pushbacks you're going to see is going to obviously come from, well, it's all going to come from the right wing and from the NRA. And you're going to hear crazy ass stuff like this. This is Mike Huckabee basically saying the subtext here is I'm not going to run for office again. I'm just going to be one of these right wing lunatic uh, Fox newscasters. And so this is the kind of stuff I'm going to say. Here's Mike Huckabee. Where was this? On Fox News just the other day. He's been saying the same thing for the past three days, but we'll play the first time he goes out and says it. But ultimately, you can take every gun away in America and somebody will use a bomb. When somebody has an intent to do incredible damage, they're going to find a way to do it. In, in the case of the Jonesboro shooters, we're talking about an 11 and a 12-year-old kid who took high-powered rifles and gunned down their classmates and teachers after they had... Uh, got them into a schoolyard by setting off a fire alarm where they were trapped in a fenced area and couldn't get back in because the door locked after them. They were sitting ducks. So, what, so wait, wait, so, so let me understand this. He's saying that people are going to find other ways to do it, for instance, and then he goes on to give an example, which was absolutely a function of, of these kids having access to a high-powered rifle. If, if these kids had a, a, a machete... They would have uh, called in the fake fire alarm. They would have gone out, and you had all these kids in the schoolyard, and there would have been a guy with a machete. He, he, can't even, he can't even come up with an analogy to make his point. He probably knows there was that story on that same day about the, the guy in China who stabbed 22 kids, none of whom do, who died. This is absurd. The idea that going into your mom's closet and getting a, uh, a semi-automatic rifle is as easy as going on the internet, creating your own uh, chemistry lab undetected, uh, buying stuff for a bomb, building a bomb, planting a bomb, setting off a bomb, creating a timer. And the bomb These two things are, are, have the same opportunity for efficiency. It's absurd. And the bomb actually working. Yes, of course, of course. All of this, it's absurd. And, and the question, you know, kept, how can an 11 and a 12-year-old do this? Well, the answer is nobody can understand how that can happen. And uh, so, you know, people will want to pass new laws, but uh, unless you change people's hearts, there I transition to the, uh, maybe to the pastor side. This is a hard issue. It's not something, laws don't change this kind of thing. No, laws don't change the intent of someone to do harm, but laws do make it harder. Laws do make it harder. If a 15-year-old or a 14-year-old wants to drive a car and they're really determined to do it, they may do it. But if it's legal for them to do it, they're all going to do it. It's just absurd. It's just absurd. Of course it makes it harder. But really, I guess the answer is to change their heart to the pastor side. You know, invariably people ask after tragedies like this, um, how could God let this happen? Well, you know, it's an interesting thing. Uh, we, we ask why there's violence in our schools, but we've systematically removed God from our schools. Should we be so surprised that schools would become a place of carnage because we've made it a place where we don't want to uh, talk about eternity, life? Yes, because we know in the history of humanity that God is never invoked to cause violence. We've never had any religious wars. <clears throat> We've never had any um, suicide bombings. 
we've never had um, someone say like, shoot first, let God sort them out. No, of course. Of course the reason why this happened was because uh, we didn't uh, say the Lord's Prayer in this school. Because that's when you get the force field. What, what responsibility means, accountability, that we're not just going to have to be accountable to the police if they catch us, but one day we stand before uh, you know, a holy God in judgment. If we don't believe that, then we don't, we don't fear that. Doesn't God say you're not supposed to commit suicide? Oh, but I guess because there's no God, that's why this guy committed suicide. Like the idea of killing 20 kids, eh, but if God doesn't let me through the pearly gates, I'm going to put this uh, semi-automatic rifle down. This, this is a guy talking to people. If he assumes that people listening to him, watching this, actually agree with what he's saying, he thinks he is talking to people with the mental capacity of about a four-year-old, I would say. And, and so I, I sometimes when people say, why did God let it happen? You know, God wasn't armed. He didn't go to the school. Uh, but God will be there in the form of a lot of people with hugs and uh, with therapy and a whole lot of ways in which I think he will be involved in the aftermath. Uh, maybe we ought to let him in on the front end. and We wouldn't have to call him to show up when it's all said and done and at the back end. OK, kids, now it's time for your nap. Who brought lunch snacks today? This is a guy who's talking to adults as if they're four-year-olds. It's ridiculous. I don't even think I could tell, I don't even think I could say to my seven-year-old daughter, if God was there, God would have stopped uh, this from happening. If people were talking about God, and uh, it's just absurd. Just absurd.